Hey guys, it's Comic here, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Minecraft 1.14 server without port forwarding, and to do this, we're going to be using LogMe and Hamachi. However, before we start this tutorial, I'd really appreciate if you could drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new, as it really helps me out as a content creator and motivates me to make better content. So, without further ado, let's get straight into this tutorial. Okay guys, so this is going to be a super simple tutorial on how to make a Minecraft server using Hamachi. You don't need to know how to port forward with this and personally, this is one of the methods I recommend to someone whenever they want to make a Minecraft server just because of how easy it is to do. All the links that you will need will be in the description below. So the first link you're going to want to download is Hamachi, which is vpn.net. Again, all the links are in the description, so feel free to check them out. So all you have to do is press download now and the download should start here. I'm going to cancel it because I already have Hamachi installed since I already use it to play with a lot of my friends on different servers. So all you need to do is install. The installation process is fairly simple and if you have any questions regarding it, you can ask me in the comments down below. I'd be more than happy to help. However, for the main part, the only thing I'd recommend while installing Hamachi is that you untick the box that will say install LastPass because you don't really need LastPass unless you read the description for LastPass and you think you might need it. So it's completely up to you if you want to install LastPass or not. I chose not to install it because I don't really need it. But if you want, while you're installing Hamachi, it does give you the option to install LastPass as well, but you don't need it for installing a Minecraft server. Once Hamachi finishes installing, it's going to prompt you with a login box. This is where you're going to have to create a login for yourself. And if you have friends playing, they're also going to have to download Hamachi and make their own login account so that they can log into your server, which is fairly simple to do. It takes maybe five minutes or less, depending on how quickly you type, but it's super simple to do. All right, next up, you're going to want to download you're going to want to go to this link and download the server file for Minecraft 1.14.4, which is the latest one. So the one available on Minecraft.net will always be the latest stable version. So all you have to do is click on here and this download should happen and you can just press keep and the file will download onto here. Okay guys, once you're done downloading the server file, it should be in your downloads folder or wherever you downloaded the file. Next up, what you're going to want to do is open and create a new folder, name it whatever you would like. I'd personally name it Minecraft server 1.14 right here. Press enter, open the server and then drag and drop your server file into this folder like so and then press enter so that the server file runs. Pick Java TM. I don't know why that's not my default for this, but it's going to run for a few seconds. All right. After running the file once, all of these should appear. So it should be server.properties, EULA and logs. First off, we're going to go into the EULA and change this false to true. This is basically us agreeing to the EULA of Minecraft and you can actually check out the actual EULA right over here. But for now, what we're going to do is just change that false to true and then save. And then we're going to run the server file again. And once we run the server file again, this is what we should get along with a bunch more other stuff that has opened up here. Now, this is basically most of the stuff done for this part of the tutorial. Next up, what we have to do is use Hamachi. So yeah, as you can see, it's creating a spawn right here and done. That's it. The Minecraft server itself is actually good to go. And you can actually change your um, world options here. So if you want to play a map, you can put that in there. If you want to play, let's say, um, a hardcore version, you can change that in server properties. So more apps, open it with notepad, okay. And this is what you should get. I'm gonna hide my IP if it automatically shows up in here, which it should not. But this is basically gonna show up a bit differently for you but most of the stuff will be the same so you can change if monsters spawn or not you can change the difficulty etc so basically any in-game options can be changed from the server uh, the server notepad file over here right below the server jar file and right now the server is running so that is fine what we have to do next is use hamachi so that other people can join our server 
Alrighty, so we had installed Hamachi earlier on in this video. I'm sure you guys did too as well. If you didn't, just pause this video right now and go and install Hamachi first. I'll give you a minute to do it. Alright, now that you've installed Hamachi, let's just open it up and you get something like this. So as you can see, I've already uh, I'm already logged in into my Hamachi. At first, it'll prompt you, prompt you to create a login. I'd highly recommend you do that because otherwise you won't be able to use Hamachi. And your friends will also need to create their own login for Hamachi. Remember the details because it sometimes randomly logs you out of Hamachi. Obviously, this part is going to be blurred in the video because that is my personal IP and I don't really want it to leak. So once you're done creating the login, it's going to, it's going to show you something like this and to activate get to get the option for create a new network or join an existing network you're gonna have to press this button mine is already pressed because i usually have servers running i don't have them right now for the sake of this tutorial but i usually do all right so if you're the one making the server all you have to do is create a new network let's just call this minecraft server one and then you're gonna have to set a password for the server I highly recommend you don't pick something stupid so that you can actually remember it and tell your friend. That actually happened to me once where I just said, oh, this is not going to matter. However, this is really important. So the network ID is going to be Minecraft Server 1. Your friend doesn't really need to know that. But he's going to need the... Actually, your friend is going to need to know the, uh, the server ID as well. So all of these details are key. So you should remember them. You're going to need to give your friend the password for this as well. So I'm just going to set a random password for now like so and then I'm gonna press create and I oop oh clearly I'm not logged in as I said earlier like you need to be logged in or you should have signed up so I'm just gonna quickly log in or actually I'm just gonna sign up because it'll, it'll be make it'll make it so that I can show you guys how to sign up as well so all you have to do is basically put in your email make a password make a password and that and then confirm that password basically and then press create account it's literally that simple and then to verify it you just have to go to your email and press a link that's it you have to do nothing else so since i already have an account i'm gonna log in and once i'm logged in i'm gonna show you guys what you need to do for the next step all right now that i'm logged in what i need to do is basically press this button which i already have so hamaji is now active then i need to press create a new network again i'm gonna just do minecraft server one like so you can name it whatever you like then i'm gonna set a really easy password like so and then i'm gonna press create and that's all you need to do oh this network name has been taken okay so yeah that can be an issue sometimes just say just name it like one of your friends names that's probably not going to be taken i'm gonna name it something stupid like there we go because j just because i can and there we go now our server is basically live so for your friends to be able to join this, they also need to have Hamachi installed as I had explained earlier and all you need to do is just copy your IPv4 address and give them to the give them give this to your friends. So what we're going to do is copy the address and you're going to want to give this to your friend because this is the IP they're going to be connecting to in Minecraft. So not, now what I'm going to show you guys is just how simple it is to do this. So I'm going to log into Minecraft now. Alright, now that I'm in Minecraft, all your friends or you need to do to connect to the server is literally just press add server and then put in the IPv4 address. Obviously, this is going to be different for you and mine is going to be blurred and then you're going to press done and that's it. Your server should be running online now. So it, it takes about a few seconds the first time around. There you go. So and you yourself are running the server. That's why you will have really, really good ping and then you can just press connect and that's it your server is good to go the first time obviously takes just a tad bit longer because the world is being created for the first time and wow this is actually a really good seed i've spawned straight into a village i did not intend for that to happen but this is actually pretty cool so yeah that this is like the easiest way you can do to make a server to play with your friends and this however the the technique i've showed you can't really be used to make like public servers obviously just because of the sheer scale of people that are required to run a public server also it's not really safe giving out your ip to that many people so i'd only recommend this 
like uh, way of making a server if you're really good friends with that person and you're just making a personal server for you and your close friends so it's really safe if you do it in that sense and uh, yeah that's pretty much the crux of the tutorial done however there is one more thing I'd like to show you guys before this video ends which is that I'm just gonna minimize this so I've showed you guys how to make a Minecraft server for 1.14 however this is only because Minecraft only has the latest stable version available for you to download. However, there's going to be a third website that's going to be linked in the description, which is called mcversions.net. Here you're going to have all, literally all the versions of Minecraft that were ever created, including the snapshots, including the latest snapshot, including the latest stable releases, and the beta and the alpha versions of the games themselves. And you can download the server jar files from here too. So let's say you want to build, uh, you want to make a server for 1.8.9, which is personally my favorite version of Minecraft. So all you need to do is press server.char and let the download run, and that's it. That's all you need, and you're good to go. Obviously, you're gonna press keep here, but I'm gonna discard because I don't really need a 1.8.9 server on this computer. But that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna show you guys again to make sure that you can see that this still works it's not just like some gimmick it's really really easy to make and obviously all your friends need to do is make an hamachi and just log in with their details and then do join network instead of the create network that we did and then you're gonna have to give them the password and the network id which is this to your friends so that they can join your network and then they'll be able to play with the ip which you can get by pressing copy ipv4 address literally the simplest way to make a Minecraft server in 2019. All right guys, hopefully you found this tutorial really, really helpful. If you did, a like would be much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, I really, really hope that you subscribe to the channel. I do try and put out as much content as I can. And if you do subscribe and like, it really motivates me to make better content. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. See ya. Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the